Hey everybody, so I'm back. Today I'm actually going to be doing a recap of the Swift Tonkin Volvo 670 that I have. I know the last video I did I was a little bit a little bit hard on it for it, you know, its flaws and shortcomings. But since then I've actually made a few um, made a few improvements, mostly interior cosmetic wise to kind of enhance it just a little bit just a little bit more um it's kind of interesting because when i first bought it i thought nah it's probably going to become my favorite um maybe it's just because it's at the front of my collection easy to grab i don't know but it i it has worn on me and i have come to really really enjoy it of course you can see my the uh, yoda pillow just over the right hand side so anyways, um, getting right into it. So, um, as you will remember it from the last video. So, you know, exterior-wise, nothing's changed. It's still the same blue on with gold Swift trim. So not, nothing, nothing new. But um, taking the, sorry, I get the roof cap on. Oh, there we go. There we go. Taking the roof cap right off. Just like the, um, if you caught the most recent video with my VNR, I used that Velcro material to really, really enhance it. Now, I did the same with the Swift interior. So, I pulled out that old, like it was like a leather suede strip of carpeting, and that thing was just really buggy. It looked too plain. And the seats, they were all broken in, bouncy. So what I ended up doing is just removing the seats completely and doing a kind of like double stick, double stick on the like Velcro. So I was able to get them to Velcro right down to the, what's the brand new carpet. So of course, that's kind of why I have this remote control right here to kind of give you a really good Kick that forward just a bit. Really good idea. No, same goes right there. And I even added a little strip, actually two strips, to the overhead upper wall. Kind of gives it like a little pizzazz. And believe it or not, it didn't end there. I wanted to do a like inside, like inside hood uh, noise dampener on the hood. So I put a little bit of that Velcro right under the hood cap. So when I close it, it doesn't make a slam sound. It's just a real soft sound. So. Anyways, so that's it. If you guys have any questions, do feel free to leave them. I'll be back. 